Good morning everyone, I'm teacher Lilia. You are now in Mathematics 5. Today's lesson, we will talk about solving problems involving divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Are you ready? But before that, let us review first the steps to be followed in solving word problem. First, you need to understand the problem. How? Know what is us in the problem. You should know what is us in the problem. Next is, know the given facts needed to solve this problem. Next is, you need to plan. In planning, you have to know what operation to be used. And then, translate the problem in the number sentence. And the last, perform the operation. Solve the problem and then label your answer. So let us study the problem and apply what you have learned in the in previous lesson about multiples, common factors, and divisibility rules. The length and width of a rectangle garden are 108 meters by 144 meters. Trees are planted at equal distance along the sides of the garden. Question number one. What is the distance between the two neighboring trees? To answer the question, we use continuous division in getting the GCF. But first, we have to analyze first the problem. What is us in the problem? So the problem asks about the distance between the two neighboring trees. And what are the given facts needed to solve this problem? So that is 108 meters and 144 meters. So that is the size or the length and width of a rectangle garden. And what operation we are going to use or the strategy that we use? That is continuous division. To solve this problem, we need to write the given facts needed. That is 108 and 144. Then we will use continuous division or inverted division. Then think of a number that is divisible by 108 and 144. And that is 2. Then divide. 108 divided by 2 equals 54. And 144 divided by 2 equals 72. Then again, think of a number that is divisible by 54 and 72. And that is 2. Then divide. 54 divided by 2 equals 27. Then 72 divided by 2 equals 36. Then again, think of a number that is divisible by 27 and 36. And that is divisible by 3. So 27 divided by 3 equals 9. Then 36 divided by 3 equals 12. Then again, think of a number that is divisible by 9 and 12. And that is 3. Then divide again. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Since the number below is already prime numbers, so we will stop on that. So all the numbers at the left, we will multiply them. Okay, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 is 36. Therefore, the answer or the GCF is 36 meters. 36 meters is the distance between the two neighbor trees. Next problem. Josephine planted 600 onions equally in 20 rows. How many onions were planted in each row? So let us analyze again the problem. What is us in the problem? That is the number of onions were planted in each row. Given facts, 620. Operation division. So the number sentence is 600 divided by 20 equals 30. So the answer is 30 onions were planted in each row. 
Next, number two. How many 500 are there in 5,000? So the solution, 5,000 divided by 500 equals 10 five hundreds. Number three, Kathy earns 1,000 Philippine peso in a week. How much does she earn in a month? So first, we are going to know how many weeks in a month. Since there are four weeks in a month, so we will multiply that to 1,000 Philippine peso. So 1,000 times 4 equals 4,000 Philippine peso earned in a month. Number 4. Wendy cook mini shopau for her two sons and three daughters. If she only cooked 15 mini shopau, how many mini shopau did her two sons have and three daughters have? So what is us in the problem? The problem asks about the number of mini shopau did her two sons have and three daughters have. And the facts needed is the number of sons and daughters and the number of mini shiopau cooked. So the operation to be used is addition and division. Why? So we have to add first the number of children that is 2 plus 3 that is inside the parentheses. Then divided, uh, 15 divided by the number of children. Yeah. We have to, per to perform first the, num the number inside the parentheses before you divide. So, 2 plus 3 equals 5 and then 15 divided by 5 equals 3. So, there are 3 mini shopau each son and daughter have. Christians bought two boxes of pizzas with eight slices inside, and he is going to have eight visitors. How many, sli how many slices can his visitors have? So what is asked in the problem? The problem asks about the number of slices can his visitors have, and what are the given facts needed to solve this problem? So we just need two boxes of pizza and eight slices inside. Okay, so do we need this number, the number of visitors? No, because the problem asks only the number of slices his visitors have and not each. So, we will write the facts needed that is two boxes and eight slices. So, therefore, we will just multiply them. Okay, so two times eight equals 16. Therefore, 16 slices of pizza can his visitors have. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.